uh, to enter the river and when to leave and uh, to go on the other side. He told the water to roll back and, 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 and when to return. Both the water and the people obeyed him, and everything worked out as God planned. It was a day that God was glorified. But there is something that God requests, uh, uh, God desires to be done. And so, there are two heaps of stone that are to be set up as memorials for Israel crossing of the Jordan. There are 12 stones to be set up in Gilgal, and there are 12 stones to be set in the middle of the river. And so, this, if you look at the parallel of Pentecost, this is still what God did. There is something he set up in the middle of the believer to know that you have been baptized. Those who are baptized of the Spirit, they know. There is something in the middle of the river. But there is also something put outside there in Gilgal for everyone to see. And so, God desires us to bear, Pentecost was about bearing witness. And so you will see that there is something in the disciples on the day of Pentecost that it was clear to them they were speaking in language that a language that was new. You know very, very well, this is not my language, but God has put it there. But also people who are around Jerusalem that day could see that there is something that God has done here. And so the stones step, uh, the stones at, uh, uh, at, at Gilgal, if they, are, they would say it is the evidence for all to see. But the evidence in the middle of the river is for you to know that God has done it. And so this, I say, it was a reminder for his people. The, to the unbeliever, the heap of 12 stones was not, could maybe be simply another stone pile. But to the believing Israelites, it is a constant reminder that Jehovah was his, uh, Jehovah was their God, and he did wonders on the behalf of his people. And let me ask you, what do you see when people are speaking in tongues? What do you, what do you see when the move of God is in the sanctuary? Do you just see people who are having a Holy Ghost high, or there is a witness within you? The way to know that you are walking in the Spirit it is that the witness within he connects with the witness without. And a, a, a number of us are lacking that witness within. And that is why you are so frustrated. You come to the, to, 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 to the sanctuary and you feel like the praise and worship are not filled of the Spirit. I want to ask of you, brothers and sisters, as you wait for the Lord to show up without, can you expect Him to show up within? Because if there are not 12 heaps of stones in the middle of the river, don't expect to see the 12, meter, 12 heaps of stones that are outside there out of the river in Gilka. And this is where sometimes you, you may, I may feel like we offend some people because they feel like they only want to see the stones at Gilka. There are stones that are within, in the middle of the river. Once the river, once the river now started flowing back, nobody could see those stones. But those stones are there, set up as a memorial. And so you may be asking, what, is, what, what, uh, what are you, pastor, trying to say? If you look at chapter 3, uh, chapter 4, at the end, verse 21 to 24, it uh, gives you the thesis, if you are the thesis, is the, what are you trying to say? Or oh, that is what the, the, the lecturer is asking to what is the thesis of the They will ask you tonight, 20 pages, 30 pages of something, then they will ask you, what is the thesis of what you are writing? The thesis is a one sentence. Now, this is, is why did God bring about this experience? Then this is what verse 24 said. That he did this so all nations of the earth might know that the Lord's hand is powerful. And so you might fear the Lord your God forever. This is the purpose of Pentecost. That you may have an experience of God that makes you to bear a witness of faith. 
We are not baptized of the Holy Spirit to just have Holy Ghost highs and to have goosebumps when we are in the house of the Lord. We are baptized of the Holy Spirit and it was evident in the book of Acts that we may bear the witness of the one who saved us, the one who called us. And so, brothers and sisters, if we want to stay in power, we must be men and women who are ready to set up that memorial in our hearts, a memorial in our hearts and a memorial without a memorial of witness I'm going to share the gospel I'm going to step out and share the gospel and so brothers and sisters this is the reason for Pentecost that the world may know that the Lord God is God and his hand of power rests upon us this is the reason as to why God is going to give you your new territories that it may be known that the Lord your mm. God is called. Mm -hmm. And he is mighty to save. Mm -hmm. He is mighty to give deliverance. Mm -hmm. And so brothers and sisters, on this day of Pentecost, I want to ask you, is there a witness of faith within us, those who have experienced the crossing of Jordan? Have we moved from the wilderness Christian to the promised land Christian? Are we willing to make the move? Do you realize that you have been operating this world as a victim? All you can summarize as your life is not an overcomer. I'm overcome. The Lord wants to change your address. You must change your address from overcome to overcomer. And the, the changing of address is crossing the Jordan, experiencing the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. But I want to ask you, if you desire to be baptized of the Holy Spirit, stand on your feet. The Lord will baptize you. I will not do even any abracadabra. I will ask the Lord to just visit you. Thank you, my sister. Thank you, thank you. You are saying, I have a longing for this baptism, the baptism of the Spirit. Brothers and sisters, I want us to intercede, intercede for the move. The Pentecost came in an atmosphere of prayer. I want to ask of you, just pray, just pray. If you are a man or a woman in the spirit like Joshua, just pray, pray for the move of God to be in this sanctuary. Let there be just the wind from above, the wind from above to capture us, to turn us right side up, to change us, to change us from cowards to victors, Lord. Father, we start acknowledging we've been walking like victims above others. We start acknowledging that, Lord, we are grateful you saved us, you saved us from Egypt. But, Father, we have not yet seen, we have not yet seen the promised land. And, Father, we declare not to die in this wilderness. There is more that you saved us for our father and so for every brother every sister who is standing visit with them our father breathe for breathe on them lord breathe on them lord breathe on them spirit of god breathe on them we ask of you holy spirit breathe on your people receive the holy spirit Receive the power of God. Receive the baptism of the Spirit. Father, do it your way, Lord. Do it your way, Lord. There will be a witness within and without that you surely baptize this men and women standing before you. And so, Lord, how you will do it, I don't know. But visit with them, Abba Father. Visit with them, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. Right now, 
I remove the obstacle of doubt in their life in the name of Jesus. We come apart. As we face giants, as we face things known, as we face things unknown, we pray that God will come before us. One thing in Joshua chapter 3 you tell the people is that this way you are going, you've never been before. And we acknowledge, Lord, this new week, we've never been into this new week before. And so we choose not to approach this new week or the task therein with familiarity. We choose to walk in the Spirit. And so, Lord, give us victory on every side. This we ask by faith in Jesus' name. Congregation, now may the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord cause His face to shine upon you and give you peace. May the Lord give you victory on every side. In Jesus' name. And now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Go in God's peace. God bless you. So exciting church. So have you been to church today? If not, are you preparing to go? Welcome to church. Welcome to church. And this is me. HTV guys. Been sick, been sick, been sick. There's no voice, but God is good. So guys, subscribe to this channel and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.